Welcome to Feature Friday, where I show you how to use some of the coolest new features inside of Ecamm Live. Today, we're going to be talking about preview mode, which is the reason why you see me in this little box here instead of my normal full screen self. Let's take a look at preview mode and I'll show you how to use it and what it will really help you out with. Now, this is my standard Ecamm interface. For today, I'm going to temporarily remove my interview feature because we're not talking about that. And I'm going to expand my program window. This program window is extremely helpful because what you see in this window is what the world sees on your live stream. What you see in this window in preview mode will be your behind the scenes, say behind the curtain where no one else can really see. So if you are missing the preview window for any reason, click on window, scroll down here to preview, or alternatively, you can press command shift zero. And as you see, my window is here. I'm going to temporarily make this bigger so we can see what's going on. And remember, what's in this window is what would be live if you were live streaming. In our particular case, it's going to be our program window. And this here will be our preview window. Now, you'll notice in the interface right now, the preview button should show up down here, but it's not on the window at the moment. So we're going to jump over into record only mode to simulate the same thing as if we were live. Now you'll see the preview mode button exists. If I were to come here now and put on an overlay, you'll see the overlay shows up on my screen and it also shows up in the program window because we are in live mode. If I were to press preview mode and turn this off, you'll notice that it's still down here on the master program out screen because I am in preview mode. What I'm gonna do this time is turn it on and add a graphic to make it make more sense. And as I press publish, this is what the world would see. Whatever you see in this window, it is what's going out to live. So I can make changes here, like move this graphic to this side of the screen, move the graphic to this side of the screen and add a pint. We're gonna put the pint over here. And again, the people on the live stream wouldn't notice any of this and I would press publish and then it shows up here. The primary reason for this is so that people can make changes on the fly without anyone having to see what they're doing because you might get a last minute guess, realize you spelled somebody's name wrong or you're missing a graphic, you would be able to make those changes. If I press go back to publish and go back to live, now I can put it back to where they show up instantaneously and everything is sort of in sync. So if I wanted to remind you to like this video, comment on a video or share it, I can bring up that graphic and it happens instantaneously. Now, if I am in preview mode and I bring this graphic up, it doesn't present itself until I tell it to publish. Once I press publish, then it shows up on the screen and it even remembers to recycle and play the video at that time. I'm going to go back to live mode. Now, another good thing that comes into play is if you wanted to check a scene. So for instance, if I had preview mode on and I'm having you see what I'm doing now, but I wanted to check to see if my next scene was okay, I could bring that up on screen. I'm still talking to you. I am making sure that I am in the window that I want to see and I have it all lined up. And then once I'm ready, I can go ahead and press publish. The other thing that I might want to do is realize I want to resize this. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to adjust it so that you don't see the borders of the browser and press publish. So I'm able to make changes on the fly without disrupting the show. This comes in really handy. Should you have a guest call in later or you want to change guests or any, any last minute changes that you want to make in your show. All I have to do is press go back to live and everything is back to normal. So you can see preview mode can help you out a lot with making changes on the fly with your show should something come up and you do not want to disrupt your screen. The one thing to remember is when you are in preview mode, you will see the yellow icon here and the red icon in the program window. So just make sure you remember to jump out of preview mode because if you don't, you can be adding comments to your stream and no one can see it. So pay attention to sort of both windows. Now, the cool thing about this program window, it, it is floating so if you have an extra monitor say a second or third monitor or confidence monitor you can move this program window to the confidence monitor so you can sort of have a this is live to the world monitor and let you know what's going on 
That's a quick run through for Feature Friday. I'm Doc Rock, your community manager. Should you have any questions, comments, or feedback, by all means, please leave that in the comments below and stick around. We have more Feature Fridays coming. Aloha.